we here today uh, right now this morning in Gujarat Surat and we are driving for another I believe a two and a half hour drive from Surat to a place known as Kuliwale the high bridge uh, and uh, had crusades over there people of God and uh, we are going for a reason I'm over here I've come all the way from Goa to uh, Gujarat to bless a marriage ceremony of one of our brothers of our ministry from Gujarat who is uh, co one of our coordinators in Gujarat coordinates our programs and crusades and today is a big day for him he's getting married and that's why we are driving to bless the marriage and uh, to speak a word of blessing over his life and he's going to be wife so people of God I welcome everyone those who are watching me online I do not know if I believe they put a note, uh, put put a word saying that we'll be online at 11. And even those people who will be listening later, I want to speak something very important. I want to speak something about favor. All right. And I promise you, you will be blessed as you are listening uh, the message on favor. Because people of God, this is a blessed message. I'm over here driving, and uh, we are driving. We have a driver over here to drive us, and uh, I have my wife with me. Uh, she's traveling with me she wanted to be a part of this marriage uh, because she, she she has never been out with me for any outstation crusades okay because of my children that she takes care of. and uh, but today it's just me and she, she we came, we arrived yesterday in the evening and uh, we're going there but people are I want to speak a very important word on favor all right and I promise you just in my life in a mighty way family ministry and you name it and people of God I want to say something very important what's the meaning of favor let me tell you the meaning of favor okay according uh, to the Bible okay favor means God entering or stepping in a situation where he, he connects everything to our destiny and uh, the uh, and it makes a big huge difference when god steps in a situation that uh, making a major difference in our life that's called favor biblically favor i have many examples that i can give you like of mary see what happened to mary the bible say the angel of god visited her and say Ma mary uh, you have found what you have found favor favor with god and my brother my sister when she found favor of God she conceived as a virgin can you imagine that woman was a virgin and she conceived without any man now uh, and she made history God made rather history for her and she conceived the child of the Most High God that's your and my Savior King Jesus Christ now people of God favor there are many people in the Bible who receive favor and I want to say one thing everyone believing in the Lord Savior King Jesus Christ needs to be people of God's favor or rather we need to have the favor of God because the one who believes in his name all right the one who believes in the name of the Lord and King Savior Jesus Christ needs to be people of favor before I can read the scripture and speak the word I want to say expect God's favor to visit in your life all right please this word I'm speaking I am taking time to speak this word because I am believing and I am praying that you and your family receive the favor of God church many times we take this word very simple no the, the, the word favor means something very important when we find favor with God the favor of God is not something normal or not something uh, you know that we can just take it very easy no finding favor with God is something mighty amen I, I can say many things you know when I people of God I had seasons of favor remember there are seasons that we have in life according to the book of Ecclesiastes the Bible says there is a season for everything all right so uh, there are seasons for everything there's a time of God of for everyone in our life so example one of them is favor favor my balance people of God has a season all right uh, Abraham had a, a season of favor the people of Israel had a season of favor 
okay you know what is favor example when the people of Israel were moving in the wilderness for 40 years although they were going through a wilderness wilderness is dryness okay but although they were going in the wilderness for 40 years or passing through the wilderness for 40 years it means the dryness of the life but God people are always remember after the wilderness comes the promised land amen and the people of Israel although they were going through the uh, see, uh, season of wilderness but they had the favor of God they had protection from their enemies uh, they had provisions food uh, supernaturally they never went to work out for food they never cooked the food the food was provided from heaven water was provided from the rock the enemies were destroyed they, it was not their strength of the Israelites destroying their enemies it was the power of God supernaturally amen praise the Lord so that's called favor I can speak a lot about favor but let me before I can speak people of God I want to say I have seen seasons of favor in my life all right I have seen times of favor people of God before I could start preaching the Word of God and before I could be saved also and even before I could get full-time preaching people of God I have gone through struggles in my life I have gone struggles uh, in many ways in my life spiritually ministry fi uh, financially many areas of my life but people of God when the season of favor came I'm telling you miracle just happened provisions was just coming I, I never knew how it was happening uh, it was just coming my way uh, uh, God, the, the God just started to change my story uh, people started to know me in a new name uh, people of God uh, God just started to open doors for me and uh, without even me working hard over it I should just pray to God and God should just see my heart and favor and favor and favor and I should just say God uh, I'm just receiving the rain of blessings amen uh, you know I'm speaking I'm sharing my life to you people of God Billy Kittikas today I was reading my Bible in the hotel and when I was praying in the hotel room and reading the Bible this word really this entire chapter really blessed me the blessings of obedience and the bless uh, uh, the blessings of obedience and the punishment of disobedience and people of God please listen my wife will read it this is the book of Leviticus chapter 26 and I will want her to read from the verse verse 9 all right from verse 9 and these are what some of the blessings just few of the blessings what I'll read uh, of obedience okay and please listen upon you means I will look upon you favorably means when I look at you I will look at you with favor if you're obedient I, I don't have time to read everything but look upon you with favor favor everyone say multiplying your people not adding your people multiplying see people of God you know when God speaks something yeah the Bible speaks about addition but when God speaks with favor it never speaks about uh, addition it speaks about multiplication that's what is the difference between uh, by favor and just normal blessings when favor comes you you cannot say you cannot compare favor with just blessings favor is beyond blessings amen in blessings you will be added but in favor you will be multiplied hallelujah praise God continue the Bible says you know in blessings I will multiply you in blessings I will multiply that's what the Bible says that's called favor all right continue and I will fulfill my covenant see God was speaking over there with the people of Israel the covenant meant with Abraham Isaac and Jacob we are the seed of Abraham don't forget that so what it says I will fulfill my covenant things on the cross you will uh, you will have so much of crops that you will require you what it says continue you will need to clear out the old grain there you go you will make room for the new uh, you will require to clear out your old grain to make room for the new harvest you will have so much plenty people of God when God's favor is there there is plenty let me just say something you know what is favor when favor of God is comes upon your life or when you receive the favor of God people of God you just do not know how it happens uh, how if you're trying to build up a house the season come the favor of God comes to build up a house you just do not know how the money comes or when you are buying a house you will not know how the money comes and uh, you will have the best of the house and the best of the location when uh, when you are looking out for 
uh, you know, to grow in your business, you will just not know how the, you just don't know how it happens. Uh, what happened to Job? When Job lost everything in his life, he lost his 10 children, business, he turned sick. But what the Bible says in the end of the book of Job, the Bible says, uh, God blessed Job double than what he had. Amen. Amen. How did God bless him double? He never went to work. No. God blessed him double. People just started to come. You know, the Bible said people were speaking against him, his own friends. But people just started to come and bless him with gold and silver. When God was taking them out uh, from Egypt, uh, to take them to the promised land. What happened? The enemies, that's the Egyptian, gave them gold and silver when they went and requested and asked them. God told the Israelites, God told Moses, tell my people Israel to go to the houses of Egyptian that, that night when they were leaving on the Passover. Go to the houses and ask them gold and silver. And, go, and they just gave and gave and gave them. And they never went out uh, empty. They went out full. Praise God. What is called favor? Favor. Praise God. A uh, uh, favor is when uh, the Israelites were in the land of Egypt and God was sending plagues. What the Bible says, the plagues in one land of Egypt and the people of Israel were staying in Egypt in a, in a place known as Goshen and the other Egyptian was staying in the other part of Egypt. But the Bible says the plague was not in the entire land of Egypt, but not where the people of Israel were in Egypt. God was protecting them. Why? That's called favor. That the people of God, who are you? You are the people of God, who am I? I'm, we, are, we are all the people of God in Christ Jesus. So people of God, we are the hair of God. We are, and I'm telling you, we are the people of favor. But listen, favor comes in seasons. Huh? And it depends how, how long that season remains. But I want to say, when the season of favor is over your life, people of God, just receive it, just receive it and receive it. And I'm telling you, you will be blessed with it. Amen. When favor of God is there, people of God, I'm telling you, no, no man on earth can stop your blessings. Just receive it. It belongs to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's called favor, people of God. I, I'm believing and I'm trusting. Someone is moving in a season of favor. Can I have the Facebook? Can, someone is moving in, your, in a season of favor. Don't ask God. You see, the Bible says, you know, just give my iPad. I, I will read one scripture for you. My iPad. Uh, I, will, I want to read one scripture for you. Please listen. When God called Moses to preach, uh, to go and be a leader for the people of Israel, you know what did Moses said? He said, Lord, I have a weakness to speak. You know the problem I have. He said, I have a, speak, a speaking problem because Moses, he could not speak fluently. You see, because uh, he had a speech problem, okay? And uh, go ahead. Uh, this I mean in my note. That was, a, that was a moment of favor for Moses, okay? Because in among all the Israelites, God is choosing one leader, one leader, favor that was there upon Moses, okay? And listen to what God says. Uh, God is choosing him, go be my leader, and what Moses responds to God. And Moses said unto, unto the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not equivalent neither year to four nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant but i am slow of speech he said man lord i am slow of speech and a slow of tongue and the lord said unto him who hath made man's mouth moses who has created the men the mouth of the men or who maketh the dumb or deaf or seeing or the blind have not i the lord when God is trying to bless Moses favor out of the lacks of Israelites, God is choosing one man to be a leader, a prophet. That was Moses. So it was the season or the year of favor for Moses, people of God, that God is choosing and appointing him. But Moses is complaining, saying, Lord, I'm a man with slow speech. I can't speak fluently. All right. I have a stammering problem. But God is saying, Moses, who has created the mouth of man? Is it not me? So when I'm trying to bring favor, bring favor in your life, why are you bringing your complaints before me? People of God, when the favor of God comes, never bring a complaint before God. But when the favor of God comes, you need to your source. It is now the strength of God will make you someone from no one. Amen. Praise God. All right. So that's favor. Look at me sitting over here, people of God and preaching the gospel. I was no one once upon a time, but there was a year of favor that came in my life. And God made me someone today who I was once upon a time, no one. Amen. Favor. 
I, I am under favor of God. So, I, oh, how can I be healed? The doctor said, you need to know now he's going to speak a word on your life and your story will get changed. Just be ready for favor. And I believe favor, the favor of God is coming away. Amen. Hallelujah. My God, I feel the glory. Hallelujah. Praise you, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. So people of God, I'm telling you someone right now, people of God, I'm just believing the, the, the moment of the, the moment of favor is coming your way. Hallelujah. So everyone right now watching me online, people of God, Mani and Anusha and Sumitra, Salita and everyone, people of God, Shalom and Shalom. I'm telling you, uh, tomorrow, people of God, I'm leaving tonight. I'm leaving tonight to Goa. All right. So to, uh, I'm telling tomorrow early morning, I'm in Goa. So to, uh, tonight, late night, I'm leaving to Goa. So uh, tomorrow morning, I'm in Goa. Tomorrow, we are going to have a glorious church service. A glorious uh, people of God. I'm welcoming you. Come and be a part of tomorrow's service uh, in Panjim Junta House, in the Fidalgo Hotel, 6th floor. Tomorrow morning, 10.30, we start the service. Come for the service tomorrow it's going to be powerful and I'm telling you people of God I'm feeling that ever belongs to me in Jesus name amen praise God so God bless you people of God and Shalom tomorrow we will be online but come 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 for the service if you can come uh, uh, for the service in Goa come people of God there is difference between online and there's different between attending the service in the hall it's going to be powerful I'm telling you I know it the anointing of God's on my life of favor today uh, and that's what God is speaking and it's going to be tomorrow for that message amen so God bless you Shalom thank you very much bye bye God bless you